hi guys welcome to my channel so collective we're still at it this is the general reading for the collective in the next phase my readings are timeless so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them i want to thank everyone for their love and support that they have shown towards my channel and for my new subscribers welcome if this reading resonates with you please like share and subscribe remember to click the bell so you get alerts when the videos are posted so now I would like to invite the Holy Spirit into my area to give this reading light and love. And next I would like to bring the singing bowl just to give this reading lots of great energy. Here we go, guys. Okay, so if you watch the first reading, this is the next phase. So now what? Now what? We've leveled up. We've elevated. We have become that business owner, entrepreneur that we wanted to be, that lawyer, teacher, nurse, mogul, doctor, singer, actress whatever it is you had your eyes set on whatever it was that was going to make you feel successful that was what you set out for until you have the seven of swords that's what you became you leveled up you were able to manifest you prayed you cried you willed you got what you wanted you manifested you were blessed you did the hard work you achieved all the goals that you wanted to achieve in the process. So now you're successful. You have achieved that. You're sitting on top of the world. Um, you done bought that boat. You done bought that Maserati. You done bought that Rolls Royce. You got several houses now. I mean, you're living it up, boys and girls. Like, you're doing it. But now what? So are we content with thing in this area um you're able to buy anything you want right now you're living a life that you set out to obtain um you manifested it you did all the things that you wanted to do you prayed about it you worked hard you were very diligent in getting this process together so now you're here you're living it up um, all your documentation is in order. You have your wills. You have your prenums. Um, your family is, their future is fully set. Like, there's nothing right now. And they're financially secure. If anything happens, you, you've done it. You've done everything. You're feeling good. You're looking good. Because guess what, sis and bro? You were over there working out. You were maintaining your health. You were eating right. Remember, you were drinking your water. So now your skin looks real, like, glowing type. You know, guys, you out here just, you know, skin looking good. Ladies, skin, skin flawless. Like, you've been drinking your water. Um, Ladies, your hair and your nails. Guys, you know what I'm saying? Your uh, beard, goatee, your mustache, whatever, whatever you rocking. It looks good. You've been taking care of that. You've been getting things together. You've been getting it in order. So you're killing it. You're successful. You look good. You smell good. Mm. I mean, you living good. You got several houses. So, you know, you got investment properties. We're here. We elevated. We leveled up. So, now what? 
What do we do now, people? Do we hit the next switch to now move up again? Or are you content right here? Are you okay with this level? Because, I mean, you can't take all that money with you anyway. You already got everybody set up. I mean, do you need to go any further? Can a person ever have too much money? I mean... Right now, if I want it, I can have it. So, I mean, do I need to move forward? Do I need to level up again? Is there a way for me to level up again? There's a way for us to level up again, folks. So I'm the type that would want to continue reading continue learning to con continue to evolving and continue to keep building that's what type I am um there's a lot of my types out there they're very ambitious they're very like it's like almost having a energy of more there's always more there's always more there's like, I'm sure you could get to a level of where you're content in life and you're just happy, you're blessed, you're having all the things, like, because you have your family around you, you have your friends around you. Like, those are the things that are most important, like your spirituality. But as we know, we live in this world. So in this world, we need money. We're not foolish enough to not know that. So people go out and they try to obtain all the things that, you know, you need or they think they need in this world to be happy. And quite frankly, if you're not, you're spiritual, if you're not happy on the inside, there's no way on making you happy on the outside. So you have to really make sure that you're working on your spirituality at any level. Like when you're first starting, when you feel like you made it, when you feel like you've over succeeded, like literally you have to continue to keep leveling up to continue to keep elevating because at the end of the day, we're all put here for a reason. We're all put here for a higher purpose. And if we don't attempt to try to figure it out or try to obtain that, like, what are we doing? So no matter what level we get to, we have to keep elevating. So once we try to elevate to the next level, it's going to feel uncomfortable. <sighs> uncomfortable doesn't mean good or bad. Uncomfortable means escaping from one situation to the next, like moving up, elevating, um, just working to get to where you need to be, like just getting away, just getting, just moving forward. Um, the Queen of Swords energy. Queen of Swords energy is like unbiased judgment, clear boundaries, communication, combines mental clarity and intellectual power. Um, you lead from your head and not your heart. Leading from your head and not your heart just means like literally you make smart decisions. Use your brain. Don't be in your emotions. Don't be in your feelings as you're continuing to grow on your journey. Um, the King of Cups energy is like a counselor um, helping others. Like as you're on your spiritual journey, you shouldn't be afraid to be, I mean, you, you did this journey, you walked this journey. So now you can explain to others how this journey goes. So as you're doing it, you should want to be able to pull other people up and help them out. Like this is, the energy that we're trying to put towards the universe now helping people so you shouldn't be afraid to try to help somebody else be able to elevate once you are where you feel like you are you're at be a mentor to someone i mean that's not hard are you going to continue being um further the education are you going to what are you going to do are you going to continue to move forward um, or are you going to stay stagnant in that area? Are you going to try to continue to build more? Or are you going to be okay with where you're at? 
So the moon is like um, the unknown, the cycles. You know, they're cycles of life. You stop and you get from you get to one area and then you get comfortable. And then God wants to push you forward. The universe wants to push you forward. So then it starts moving you and then you start to feel uncomfortable. But uncomfortable doesn't mean good or bad. Uncomfortable just means different from what you're used to. And most of the time when you're uncomfortable, that means you're growing. So you're you're establishing something. You're moving forward. You're getting what you need to get. The Hierophant, that's like the mentor. That's like when I was saying that you should want to, you know, tell people how to continue to elevate. That's the energy that that brings. It wants to um, elevate you. It's like knowledge and wisdom. So you should be able to uh, want to give back some of this knowledge and wisdom. As you get to each level, don't be selfish with it. Other people are trying to get there too. So there's enough resources out here for everybody. They just try to make you feel like it's not. So you don't have to be afraid of trying to help somebody else come up. You don't have to be that way. Love and light, people. Good energy. So that way, now you're at this level. We're at this level. We're sitting here. We're, um, we, we have everything we want. We're successful. We're entrepreneurs. We're business owners. So we have stuff. So why are we not trying to give this information and this knowledge back? That what, What's for you is for you. Nothing's going to be taken away from you that was for you. So don't be afraid to help pull up people. Don't be afraid to like kind to trying to work with others. Don't be afraid of teamwork or building. Don't be afraid of that. As you achieve a level, as we achieve levels, we need to help others achieve levels. So now that we're here, the now what? is we continue to keep moving. We continue to keep elevating our spirituality. We continue to keep wanting to be successful. It's okay if you don't want that to each his own. So it's okay. Nobody's pushing you. So we got everything we wanted. We still had problems. Don't don't get it messed up. Because guess what? No matter how much success you achieve in life, no matter how much materialistic things you can achieve in life, this had nothing to do with your relationship. Because that could be a whole different set of cards. So you could have everything that you want. You're so leveled up. You're so everything else. But there wasn't a relationship thing in this. So this was your materialistic world that got better. Your spiritual world got better as well. But that you being spiritual doesn't give you a husband or a boyfriend. That means you're very spiritual. Sis, bro, that's it. So just so you know, the cycles of life go, you could get everything you've ever wanted and we're still not missing we're still missing the other side of this there's a side we're missing so we've leveled up we've evolved do we want to add relationship goals into this Maybe on the next one. How about that? So if this reason reading, so if this reading resonated with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Remember to click the bell so you get alerts when videos are posted.